All right, so this is part two of the review for the ZMR250 mini quadcopter frame from goodluckbuy.com. This is the fiberglass version. There's two versions, fiberglass and carbon fiber, as I mentioned in the previous video. Um, I have it all fully loaded now. It's, uh, it's all good to fly. I had it out for a test flight. I'll post it to the uh, end of this video after my review and my comments of this frame. So overall the frame is mm, okay quality. For, hey, for 20 bucks it's pretty good. Um, it is misadvertised. It is 170 grams um, so it's quite hefty. Um, the carbon fiber one might be lighter, I don't know. I might order that one just to give it a try. Overall, seems to fly uh, fairly well. Now I, my loadout, because I still have stuff on order, I, w I had ordered some high C rated batteries with uh, with about 1500, capa 1500 milliamp hour capacity. I have a 2.2, I have a 1000 amp milliamp battery. I tried it and it really makes this thing fly, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't exceeding the the amp draw, so I used a 2.2. It's heavy, so if I were, once I get my lighter batteries, I think this will fly quite well. In the video, you'll see that it flies fast, it flies well, but when I give it, when I punch it to go straight up, it's a little sluggish, and that's because this whole loadout, including a GoPro 3, and I know these motors probably this is more meant for driving a flying a Mobius, but all I got is a GoPro 3, so I thought I'd strap it on and, you know, take some flight footage just for some fun. So anyways, um, I put this on the scale, fully loaded, with the KK2, a large receiver. I also have a board camera. Uh, it weighed in at 600 grams, so very hefty. But it did fly, and it flew well. It didn't fly, like, you wouldn't want this for performance flying or really fast fleet you know, you know, really fast flying, but uh, you know, it flew pretty good. I also have this little 5.8 gigahertz, uh, 200 milliwatt transmitter to put on board, which I'll mount back here. I already have the board camera in; it's all wired up. I just didn't get a chance to um, heat shrink this and then put some either Velcro or double-sided tape to mount it in. But uh, that'll be the next step. But uh, other than that, KK2. It fits. I mounted it with some of this uh, anti-vibration foam tape, zip-tied everything in. I could probably trim some weight by trimming some of these wires, um, shortening some of the leads. My power management or my power distribution, all I did was just use wire. Um, I had ordered some little tiny circuit boards, power distribution boards, but there wasn't any real way of doing it unless I put some uh, standoff off this frame and uh, I couldn't be bothered to do that. So I just ran it underneath and kept it nice and flush. So nothing really fetches. Overall, my impressions, I like it. Um, I'm sure the blackout frames are way better, way lighter for sure. Um, but hey, for 20 bucks, it's worth giving it a shot. So, anyways, on to the flight video. And this was all flying line of sight as well. I'll do an FPV video when I get some time. Um, but for now, um, check out this, this next uh, flight video. Fully loaded and uh, with a GoPro 3.